Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I'm from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video from IsraelAutomation. And today in this video, we'll be talking about how we can customize Linux terminal with Zeesh or oh my Zeesh configuration. So this is one of the most interesting way to customize your terminal and make your boring terminals much, much interesting. I'm actually using the Windows subsystem for Linux, which is WSL2. And I have installed Ubuntu on here. And as you can see, there are so many different versions or flavors of Ubuntu with the different versions I have got. And you can actually see how I have customized this Ubuntu operating systems terminal itself. So you can see that I'm actually in my C colons power level 10K directory. So if I just come out, you can see that the icon has been changed and super customized and if i do ls you can see that i can see the power level and if i just do po you can see that it automatically completes what i'm trying to type and then uh, it shows me all the details like it is on the master branch something like that and if i just do a git you can see that it just brings me up the auto completion of the status like that so i can just do git sta and then it does something like this it will gonna show me the git status something like this so it's going to do all those magics for me because I have installed the Zish autocomplete feature as well. So you can do a lot of things with this customization that we are going to talk about today. So in order to do the customization, I'm not really going to do the Windows subsystem for Linux customization because it's going to be pretty much exactly the same how I'm going to do it on an actual Ubuntu operating system on my virtual machine. So I'm going to just open my VMware and I'm going to start my Ubuntu operating system. And you can see that I have my Ubuntu operating system up and running. So let me make this uh, des display settings a bit different so that you can actually see. We're going to scale to like 200 so that it's more easier to read. There we go. And now I'm going to open the terminal over here. So if I just type terminal, you can see that it's going to bring me up a boring terminal. This is the default terminal of the uh, Ubuntu operating system. At the moment, there is no customization really happens in this particular terminal so we need to go and start using the zish which i was talking about in order to do that i'm actually going to open the oh my zish home page which is this one and if i just come down a bit you can see that there is a installation details available over here like what you really need to do to start using the zish but actually you need to first of all run this sudo apt install zish something like this so this is going to start installing the zish for you I'm going to accept the Y, which is the default. And once you have that, you can then copy this command that is shown in this particular website. So I'm just going to copy, I'm going to paste it, and then I'm going to hit enter. Oops, I think there is a dollar there, which is wrong. And it says that Git is not installed. So probably I need to install the Git as well because I have not installed Git in my machine. So sudo apt-get or apt install git. Let me install that that's done i can then run this particular command if i'm not wrong so it's cloning the zish for me and you can see that it's asking me that do you want to change your default shell to zish so basically at the moment my terminal that is running over here is basically a bash terminal so i wanted to change this bash terminal which is the default shell terminal to zsh or the zish terminal so it's asking me, do you really want to change the shell? And I'm going to say yes, because that's what I really wanted to do. And I'm going to enter my super secret password. And you can see that it's going to tell me, oh my Zish, welcome to oh my Zish over here. Just great. So now that the Zish is already there, and now I can do all sort of things like, you can actually see the terminal has got changed. So there is a small arrow there. And this there is, there is a tilde symbol, which tells me that this is the directory I'm in. So if I do an ls, you can see it's going to show me all the details. So if I just do a cd of the downloads, it's going to show me downloads directory and there is a Firefox temp folder, which is great. So Zish is already there. And now all I'm going to do is I wanted to install two more plugin, which is going to give me some auto suggestion. For example, I did some git command probably or maybe i also did the ls and you can see that there is no automatic completion coming up i wanted to do the auto suggestion option so zish already has got an auto suggestion options which we can easily do it as well so the command for doing it is going to be this one so the git clone git of the zsh auto suggestion git and then there is the zish custom as the directory and the plugin and the Zish auto suggestion. This is the most important thing that we need to do. So I'm going to copy this particular command and then I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to paste it. 
and I hit enter. So this way it's going to clone the Zish auto suggestion directory for me. So it's currently been cloned within my home directory, which is nothing but the Karthik dot oh my Zish folder. So if I go to the files over here, you can see that the dot is basically a hidden folder. So you can just go show hidden folders and you will see there is a dot oh my Zish folder, which has got all the different plugins. So the plugins, you can see there are so many different plugins. It has got like one password, ADB, blah, blah, blah. There are so many different passwords available. Custom and then plugins of the Zish auto suggestions over here. So it's sitting there, which is cool. So now that I wanted to set this auto suggestion directory within my uh, within my Zish configuration. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to just do a gedit, which is the uh, like a notepad in Windows. And then I'm going to do a tilde dot z yes, hrc, which is going to bring me the configuration file of the Zish. And you can see that this is going to show me all the details of the Zish uh, shell itself. Like it's going to show me the home directories and all those stuff. And the moment the Zish theme is going to be the Robbie result. That's what there is this, uh, uh, like the arrow as well as the tilde symbols are coming. So basically there is going to be a, a theme already sitting. And we have actually installed the oh my Zish uh, auto suggestion option that actually sits on the plugins over here. So we installed the git and we also need one for the Zish auto suggestion. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to copy this text over here. Just this one. So I'm going to save this. So this is going to save this particular file. But once you save this, there is not going to be a change reflected automatically you are probably gonna do something like source of tilde zshrc hit enter and now it has been uh reverted i mean and now the changes has been happened over here in the terminal so now if i just do like gi you see that there is this auto suggestions are coming up just just great the g edit of this thing right so that's what this auto suggestion is all about which is coming up very good and now that we have to install the themes really so as we saw in the windows terminal uh, themes over here so if you just see this this kind of theme if you want to bring this up you see that we are using this power level 10k so this is the theme which i'm going to install it and i'm going to show you how we can do it so i can just go to the power level 10k over here uh, which is this theme and it was 9k before and now they changed to level 10k i guess they have improved or it's recently updated and there is this details about how you can install it so if you just go here there is this option called as install power 10k which is the manual setup that's what we are going to be doing so it's again going to be like a git clone of these 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 things so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it it's going to do one more git uh, cloning into this power level 10 uh, directory and once the cloning is done we can then start setting the theme as the power level 10k something like this in our zish rc directory that's it that's the only thing which we need to do which we know how to do it just g edit and then we can go to the themes i guess we have a theme somewhere here which is this one the result hop so i'm gonna paste this one i'm gonna close it i'm gonna source it again and you can see that now that the theme has been installed but you can see that this power level 10k wizard comes in automatically and it also shows you some of the configuration options it tells you that does this look like a diamond to you does it look like a diamond of course not right so which means we have some problem really on the font side so i'm gonna close this and you'll see that there are some broken text here and there is no icons and stuff like there is something wrong the reason why it's wrong is because we actually have to install some of the uh some of the fonts over here some of the recommended fonts which we need to install so you can see that there are some recommended fonts uh, to be installed so these are the recommended fonts and I think I like the uh, MISO regular TTF, which is this one. So I'm going to download that. And this font, once you have it in your machine, you can then start using it. So I'm going to install it. So it's currently been installed. And now if I just, I think we also need to do this. Go to the preference and on the text. And we're going to search for MISO LF, this guy, which is 
just the one that we just installed. And as you can notice that the currently the terminal is actually not the Zish terminal, it's a bash terminal. We actually need to use the uh, chsh of the Zish terminal. And I think I remember chsh of the Zish, if I just search, uh, I guess there is an option which we can do it. I think, yeah, this one, chsh of the hyphen yes dollar of which of zish which is this one so once i do that it's going to prompt me for the password i'm just going to enter that and you will see that it is not still going to reflect all you need to do is you need to do this like with the sudo so that you don't really have to reboot a machine so if i just do like a sudo and if i try typing this guy uh, still it is not reflected i'm probably going to do a log out and now if I go to the terminal this time, you should see that we are going to be prompted with the Zish itself. And now you can see that we have the diamonds coming in here, which is correct because now we have installed the, the font, which is required for the Zish to work with. So the font is there. So it's all working fine for us. So we could see that diamond. So which means the option is correct. So yes. And then the locks. Do you see that? Of course, yes. And do you see the Debian logo? Of course, yes. And do you see the icons fit between the crosses, which is yes too. And what are the styles that you really wanted to? The classic or the rainbow or the pure, something like that. I think I'm gonna go with the rainbow this time and I'm gonna choose the Unicode version and I'm gonna choose no times really wanted. And do you want the round one or the slanted vertical or angled? I think I'm gonna go with the round one and also the round options, uh, which was, the one before and then i'm gonna go with the five as the round one and then i want to go with the one liner so you see that these things are just pretty self-explanatory i don't really want to explain you what it is and i'm gonna go with the compact more icons and fluent i'm gonna say why and then verbose and then why for the recommended settings so you can see that right now i have the customized terminal over here so i also have all these options like if i just do an l you see that the auto completion comes in and similarly if i just go to any of the directory for example if i just go to the cd of power level 10 you see that brings me up which branch i'm in in the master branch just brings me up and if i do an ls it's going to show me everything over here similarly i can work with docker if i really have any docker i don't really have any docker and something in this machine but i can bring in all the auto suggestions and stuff right into this terminal so this is exactly the same terminal that you see here beautifully in windows terminal the reason why it is so beautiful in windows terminal is because in windows terminal we can do even further customization with the settings itself so you can see for ubuntu you can go and change some of the additional appearance settings like you can add the font uh, i mean you can change the font you can add the background image and then you can stress the background image you can change the opacity of the background image you can increase the transparency you can add the acrylic effect paddings and stuff so all these things are combined to make this terminal look more awesome than the actual linux terminal but if you're working with the linux terminal you probably will be fine with this particular thing i mean it is looking quite good right so that's about the terminal experience and how you can customize the ubuntu terminal using oh my zish or the zish shell terminal